Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to show you how you can use Ngrok to make your Minecraft server multiplayer without having to use port forwarding or anything like that. So when I was a little kid or when I was younger, um, I always wanted to make my Minecraft server that had on my computer multiplayer so that any one of my friends can join it and I don't have to host the server on like some hosting service. But it was actually very hard to do that because you, a lot of the time you had to do two options. You could either do port forwarding or you could use some other service like Hamachi, which was kind of poopy to use. But nowadays you can use a service called Ingrok, which is actually like a like a script or a software that you can run on your computer and it opens up a specific port to the rest of the internet using like a sort of proxy type of thing. So this is not useful only for Minecraft servers. This is useful for web development. I use it for programming stuff like Slack bots, web development projects that I can share to um, other people on the internet. And it's really, really cool. So check it out if you're into programming. But if you're just someone who wants to make your Minecraft server public and multiplayer so that any of your homies can join, uh, follow these steps, okay? So first things first, you want to go to this website here, ingrok.com. I'll leave a link for this in the description below. And once you're here, you want to go to download and you just want to download it for whatever system you have. I have Windows, so I'm just going to do Windows 64 bit and click download. And that's going to download a zip file for you. And now you want to find a place on your computer for where you want to put that, okay? So I'm just going to go to my D drive or my daddy drive. <laughs> and you want to put it in a place where you will remember where it is. And I'll put it here inside of Minecraft, all right? So I'm going to go to my zip file that I downloaded, uh, click it to open it, and Windows should automatically be able to open that. And you want to copy this, so Control c or right-click and do copy, and then go to the place where you want to put it, and do right-click and then uh, paste. Uh, show more options, and then paste. There we go. So now if you run it, what you have to do is open a terminal to this location here, this file location, which is a little tricky for beginners. So if you don't know how to do that, you have two options. You can either right click if you're on Windows 11 and do open in Windows terminal and it'll open in this location automatically. Or you can actually just double click this as if it was like a normal program and it'll open a new terminal automatically in this file location, okay? And now you can start using it. It'll tell you how to use it, all the different commands you can run. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But if those two options don't work, what you can do is do PowerShell, which is something that should be available to Windows 7, 8, 10, and 11. Very, very common for terminal stuff. And now you need to navigate it to this location, like I said. So you need to copy the location. So Control C that. Then go back here and do CD and then right click to paste and then press enter. And now it moved you into that location, okay? So now once you get to this location from one, tech, from one technique to another, you can do ls to make sure that the file is there that will list all the files in the folder that you're in. And here we go, we get, we get ingrok.exe, okay? So now to use the ingrok command, you're gonna do period slash ingrok, and that will target the file that you downloaded right here. And then you're gonna put the type of web protocol that you're using. For Minecraft, it's TCP. For something else like web development, it might be HTTP, depending on what you're doing. And then after that, you want to put the port that you're going to run your Minecraft server on, okay? So the default port for all Minecraft servers is 25565. So there we go. Period slash ingrok TCP 25565. And I'll put this in the description below so you can just copy and paste it if you want to. And then press enter. Now it's going to work its magic and it should give you these URLs here, okay? But this forwarding URL right here, this is actually very, very useful. This is the URL or the IP address that you're going to give to anyone who wants to join your Minecraft server, okay? So this is like the temporary uh, URL that Ingrok is making for you and you can see that it points to, that's an arrow right there, to localhost 25565. So this is your localhost or your computer and this is automatically rerouting any requests from this domain here or this URL here to your IP here. Okay, so anyway, so go ahead and copy this. Control C, you don't need to copy the TCP colon slash slash part and then open Minecraft. And also while you're opening Minecraft, go ahead and start up your Minecraft server that you may have downloaded. If you don't know how to get a Minecraft server on your computer, how to set one up, then watch my tutorial on that. I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. While the Minecraft server is starting up, I'm going to show you something. So if you go to server.properties and open this up in like Notepad or Notepad++, this is how you can specify what port your server runs on when you start it. Server-port and then the number after this is going to be your port. The only reason you would want to change that is if you're trying to run multiple Minecraft servers because you can't have two things running on the same port. So then you would change it, but otherwise just leave it. But that's kind of interesting if you're curious about how to do that. 
Anyway, so my Minecraft server started up, Incroc is started up. So let's try and see if we can connect to it using the uh, thing here. So let's go to multiplayer, then go to direct connection. So normally if I want to connect to my Minecraft server, I can use localhost because it's my own computer. There we go, and we're able to join flawlessly. But if we want to join using Ingrok, we're going to paste the IP that we copied. So there we go, and let's join it. Boom, and now we're in, perfect. There we go, so since we tested it and made sure that we can join, this means that your friends can join. So go ahead and give that to your friends and uh, tell them how to connect to the server. If you don't want to use Direct Connect, all you got to do is pretty much just do add server, uh, name it, put the server address here, click done, and now they can join same way, okay? So give that to your homies. Make them join your server and kill them right away as soon as they join, okay? Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully this video was informative. And uh, again, all the info is in the description below if you want to check it out. And have fun destroying your friends in Minecraft.